morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a little top up shopping haul to show you guys. I did go to Aldi, I made a list of what I needed and then I bought some more and I couldn't get everything on my list that I needed from Aldi so I did need to go to Tesco as well. So enjoy the video. No, 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 before I get into that I actually want to do my Sunday shout out today and this week it's going to go to Someone that I've actually watched for a while and she is the person that actually convinced me to do calorie counting. There was a lot of people at the time swapping over from Cal uh, Slimming World to calorie counting and I was just like, no, I'm sticking with Slimming World and all that. But it was when Andrea over at Making Vlogs, she actually done like this video where she compared the two, like she done Slimming World along alongside calorie counting. And it actually made me realise, wow, maybe calorie counting is the way to go. So I gave it a bash and I have been on it ever since. So Andrea's actually currently following Summer World. But like I said in the past, she's dabbled with calorie counting in that as well. She's recently, well, a couple of months ago, gave birth and all that. So she's trying to lose the pregnancy weight and everything. And she is honestly so lovely and genuine. And a chatterbox quite like myself. So please go over and follow Andrea. I will try and remember this week to link her channel in the description because I did forget last week until somebody mentioned that I'm really sorry. Yeah, go and give Andrea a little look over and if you like what you see, subscribe to her channel. Anyway, on with this shopping haul. So I did just get a pile of pizzas. I got four pizzas. I got two bacon double cheeseburger and two barbecue meat feast. These are just for keeping the freezer for Ali and his pals. They're always looking for a munch or something. They'll go round to the shop and buy a frozen pizza and I just think it's such a waste of money. So I just got them a pile of pizzas. If he has a friend over, they can have them whenever they want. I also got Ali some more breaded chicken strips and I've got some onion rings for us. Oh, I should tell you the calories. For half of one of these bacon double cheeseburger pizzas it's 664 calories so not too bad that'd be quite a low calorie meal well medium calorie meal if you had it with some salad and the barbecue meat feast is only 595 for half a pizza so it's not too bad the breaded strips are 234 calories per three strips I've just run out of onion rings and I like keeping these in the freezer just you know have we stuff and all that so for four onion rings it's 93 calories and I did check the battered onion rings are slightly less than the breaded ones I saw these breakfast hash browns I've not seen these before they look like the McDonald's ones and um, these are about 80 something calories each is it? Uh, 86 calories for one and they look like quite big ones so I'm going to do the McDonald's style muff uh, muffins or I think the bagels again one day so we'll have maybe a couple of them with it. I got a bag of whole green beans. I've no frozen veg in the freezer at all so I just stocked up on some. I got green beans, I got Brussels sprouts, I got petit pois and broccoli and cauliflower. I got Ali a chicken and bacon layered pasta salad for his lunch today. Ali wanted a roast chicken dinner one night so I've got um what one did I get um the roast the roast sage and onion stuffed whole chicken <laughs> um for a fifth of the pack which is 150 grams cooked is 284 calories not too bad burns night on the 25th and i hadn't got haggis in my big monthly shop because i'd forgot about burns night so i got a haggis for ali and probably mark as well they didn't have any vegetarian haggis so i am going to have to go to tesco if i do go to tesco i'll pop what i get there on the end of this ali also wanted some pulled pork so i got on one of them they're quite cheap it was only two pounds something for that and that serves two people I got myself a pie. I did order a pie with my Asda delivery, but it never came and they never sent a replacement for it. So I got this Chipotle spiced vegetable pie from their vegan range. It's quite high in calories for the whole pie. 467 calories, but if I have it with veg and all that, it'll keep the whole meal like quite low in calories or medium calories. For Ali, I got some of the spicy chorizo and cheddar chili cheddar rolitos he loves these kind of things with his lunch or just as a snack for two rolitos it's 80 calories 
and I also got him some salami. I think I made him, we had leftover salami on Boxing Day, so I made him some sort of sandwich with cheese and salami and he loved it, so he wanted it again. Per slice, it's 17 calories, quite good actually. Um, we also want to make nachos one night for dinner, so I got salsa. I meant to get sour cream, but I ended up getting the sour cream and chive dip. It's the sour cream, it's the reduced fat one, sorry. For a quarter of a pack, it's 73 calories. I got myself some Baby Bell lights to take to work in that for nibbling and whatever at work. <laughs> I like to take nibbly things to work or things that I can just eat on the go because I don't have a microwave or anything at work so I need to take stuff that's like I can eat straight away. I really need more salad stuff. I got a pack of iceberg lettuce, some wild rocket, I got a bag of carrots, I got two tubes of this garlic puree because I've no garlic. I got a turnip for Burns night and then I also got two packets of their cherry tomatoes. They had no cucumber in at all because we did go quite late at night so no cucumber, I need to go to Tesco and get some for some cucumber. I got bananas, strawberries, easy peelers, some grapes, another honeydew melon because I really enjoyed the one that I had. I think it was from Asda or Tesco I got it at the start of the month. And I got some super sweet plums for a change. And then I got two packets of the spir spirali, spirali <laughs> pasta and then a packet of macaroni as well. And then the last few bits I got were just some household essentials and food cupboard items. I did get a big 24 pack of toilet roll. I really like this stuff. It's good quality toilet roll and it's not completely overpriced as well. I got a couple of packets of surface wipes. I got the dog's dentist sticks. They love them. I've tried Diego does not like the pedigree ones. And these are about, oh god, I want to say 70p for seven and he really likes these. I've tried them with loads and these are the ones that he prefers, especially the menthol ones, or minty ones, sorry, menthol. They had these Christmas cards on offer. They were only 19p a packet, so I got myself a couple. They had the Grinch ones and they had the Friends ones. And I think I got two, two Friends ones and I thought, oh well, that's my Christmas card sorted for next year for, what, less than 60p. I got a bag of bin liners because I went through so many at the Boxing Day Buffet. Honest to God, I have one left and it's already in my bin. I got a jar of sweet and sour sauce, some ibuprofen, some bagel thins because both Ali and I want the McDonald's still bagels again. Oh, I need to get cheese slices. If I'm going to Tesco, I better remember that. These ones are 120 calories per bagel. Got a packet of wholemeal baps because we've got burgers or something to have one night. And then I've got these Fibre Now bars. These are the cinnamon squares. I don't think I've had these before, but I love cinnamon flavoured things. And these are 84 calories a bar. I was really in the mood for some oat cakes. Somebody had some at work and I was like, oh, I quite fancy some of them. Just with butter or cheese. Um, per oat cake, they're only 46 calories each. So that sounds delicious. And then I got myself some lentil curls. I am on a food, a uh, food, a crisp ban this week, but these all come in handy for lunches and that next week. Per packet, oh, let me straighten this out. 89 calories per packet. And that was everything that I got from Aldi this week. And I'm definitely going to have to go to Tesco, so I'll add that on next. So I just got a few bits at Tesco's, like I said, that I couldn't get at Aldi or I'd actually forgot that I needed to get at Aldi. So I got the vegetarian haggis. This is nice. I'll portion this up. It'd probably do me three meals or something like that. Oh, where's the, where's, where is it? Where's the, literally kind of see the calorie thing on that. I'll, I'll scan it. It's on the app. And then I got two packets of the McSween whiskey cream sauce. I got two because Mark will be here and him and Ali like quite a bit of this. And then I'll have some as well. How much is that calorie wise? 110 calories for 100 grams. Not too bad. Um, I got two bags of tortilla chips because they didn't have them in Aldi. I got two packets, two packets of cherry tomatoes. You'll see in tomorrow's video why I needed to get more cherry tomatoes. I got a cucumber, none in Aldi, and beetroots, none in Aldi. 
spring onions, none in Aldi. I got a fat free cottage cheese. I couldn't find any fat free stuff at Aldi, they just had the full fat. I saw these at Tesco's and I'd quite like to try them. They're the meat free stock cubes, so there's a the beef one and the chicken one. Ali's asking me to make a pho one night and it's like beef stock or chicken stock that you need for that, so at least I've got that. I got the cheese slices that I didn't realise that I needed till I was doing my Aldi haul. <laughs> And then they had these on offer in Tesco. I thought they'd be great for like taking to work with. And they're like in six portions. So they're already portion, portioned up. Uh, it saves weighing them out. They're 63 calories for one. And then I got gherkins. Because I forgot that I wanted to get them at Aldi actually. And guacamole because there was none in Aldi. I had to get this holy moly one. Because the regular Tesco one was out of stock. Apparently there's a shortage on guacamole so I had to get this one which was like £2 for a piddly wee bit but it's just to go with nachos one night. And I also got Ali this because <laughs> he loves Reese's and that and uh, all the Easter stuff's coming in. So that was everything that I got for my top-up shop from Aldi and Tesco. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.